Well, hello, shiny, crafty people. Tim Totten here, and welcome back to the channel. Today, I want to show you a really fun project that has no sewing involved, uh, although you can do this with a version of fabric. But I bought everything I needed for this project at the Dollar Tree, and I want to show it to you. It's this cute gift box. Um, now, this is one version, and uh, I'm going to show you another version at the end of the video that would have some stickers and stuff put on it. But I want you to see that I spent less than $10 to make this entire thing. When you un It's not a regular box, though. When you take the ribbons open and you take off the lid, it falls open to reveal a coffee cup and a bunch of little envelopes, little, uh, little pockets here, and I put tea into them. Now you could put other stuff if you wanted to, but I put little teas in there because this is for like a tea drinker gift. And it says here, create your own piece. Isn't that cute? All of these items were bought at the Dollar Tree. Um, so stay tuned now. I'll, you can come down to the uh, sewing table or the cutting table. I'll show you what it took to make this. And uh, of course, I'll also show you at the end how to update this with a few more um, uh, stickers. Come on. So to make this project, we're gonna need a number of things. I, I bought some of these boxes from uh, the Dollar Tree because everything today is actually from the Dollar Tree. And uh, so everything here was $1.25. I have these boxes, there's two of them. I'll probably, I don't know which one I'll use for this, but you know, I'll show you when we get going. Um, I also bought a, some, uh, this is vinyl that's be that's, um, you'll see it says vinyl paper, permanent. And uh, this is designed for you to put into your Cricut machine or one of those cutters and do like things that you can weed out, but we're gonna use it just as a flat sheet, almost like contact paper. Um, I also got some stickers to go with it because I've got this really cute cup that says create your own piece. So we'll center this, and which is why I picked this color. I thought that would look good with it. And then I thought also those stickers would give some different pops of color. I did get some ribbon that I thought would look good with this, um, with whatever the box is finally covered. I get some glue because I wanted everything to be from the dollar store that I use and um, this paper pack which is impressive because it's an entire package of just options of, of paper pieces. So all this different paper that can get used and there's some pretty, um, some really cute stuff in here. So um, we're gonna put all that together. So uh, let's go ahead and get started by cutting apart uh, one of these boxes um, to turn into what we're doing. Now, one of the important things you should do first when you buy a box is to make sure that your coffee cup or whatever device you're gonna put in it as a gift will fit. So obviously this cup fits in here, but you wanna make sure. So you don't wanna buy a cup that's too big that won't fit. And then we're gonna cut the edges of the sides of this up. And to do that, we're gonna go, we're gonna need to cut it apart somehow. Now you could use an X-Acto knife. I love an X-Acto knife or any type of a sharp blade. Here's a, here's a little mini blade that we sometimes use in our, in our office or workshop, I should say, but but here's the thing with one of these. Any of these kind of things where you're gonna be holding and cutting anything, I really encourage you to use a, a glove that's designed for cutting. You put this glove on whichever hand you're not going to, you're gonna be cutting near, and then this has actually got material in it. Let me show you. It'll, it keeps you from cutting through to yourself. Now, it won't necessarily hurt with sticking, but it helps with like a rotary blade or something else. And we use these all the time in my uh, office. Um, here's one that we use. It's got, it's got metal fibers in it. So if I were going to take this and cut this edge here, then I want to hold it with this so I don't hurt myself. Now, it depends on how good you are. If you're really good with scissors, you can come in and just cut this with scissors. So I may do that for all these. See how I've started to cut it apart? I'm gonna cut each of these edges and I'm gonna use scissors. I'm still gonna wear this glove because I think it's probably helpful. And I'm cutting right along that seam. Now, if your hands aren't strong enough or you feel uncomfortable, you know, find someone in your world who can do this for you because you're gonna to wanna to lay out all four of those pieces just like this. And if you get any extra that folds over, we're just gonna take that stuff off because it doesn't matter. We're not, we're gonna cover all of this with our, um, our material. So that gets us those four pieces. Now, the other thing I have to do is I have to take off this bow because I'm not gonna leave the top red. I think that would look a little unusual with our materials. 
I don't think it really goes with that green necessarily. And I don't have, so I want to take it off because I'm going to cover this box lid as well. So I'm just going to take the tape. They have glue. They've hot glued it in. I'm just going to peel that off. Now our next step is going to be to unroll our material. I can take this glove off now. I'm not cutting anymore. And uh, like I said, there's going to be very much like contact paper. So I gave myself about an inch extra. I'll line this up here and give myself about an inch extra. Now you don't have to be exact as I'm going to be, but I like things to be pretty exact. And I'm going to need uh, two pieces about that size. So let me go ahead and um, figure that out. I'll cut another one, the same size, and that'll give me the measurement. Put this cup in the way. So however it takes you to get to about the same size, that's what you wanna do. I'm gonna do the same thing I did with the other one. And this gives me a little extra that I can then use to cover the inside. The same. So what my plan to do with this is to, to peel off the material and place this on it. So I peel it off this direction. So I want the adhesive to be standing up. Now what I'm going to do is only peel a little bit of this. A couple of inches at the most, maybe an inch, inch and a half. I fold it back here. So now I've just exposed this adhesive material. And I'm going to go about halfway on this piece. So I'm lining up. I've lined up, as you'll notice, about halfway along here in those halfway points. And then what I can do is start to peel, peel this material off and lay it down. See what I did? Peel some more off and lay this down. And it lays down on it. Now it's not gonna be exactly perfect. We'll notice in the back here, so I can peel it back up. I can peel it back off of that. It's the nice thing about using this kind of um, box from the dollar store that it's already got sort of a, um, a shiny uh, control to it. So, and it is going to fold. It's going to get, you're going to get a few air bubbles. You can cover those uh, over or even better. What happens is later on when you go to, um, when you go to cut this out later um, or when you go to put it together later, you can cover it with some of those stickers, right? So you gotta give it room for it to fold. See, it's gonna have to be able to fold. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I can come in here, I can see where the edges are. Look at this, on this side. And I'm going to cut out quite a lot of this material and save it to put on the inside. I kinda want that thing out of the way. And I accidentally picked up some of the the junk. You see that? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in and cut close to the edges here. You see about, about a half an inch away. So this piece is one I can hold on to and I'll turn this material over to the shiny part and I can just lay this on top because it'll be used later. I'll save it. I'm going to make room for another one. I'll do the same thing on this other side. Again, nothing else. And then I'm gonna do the same thing with the other side. Now I want you to notice here in the corners where they come together, I'm gonna to just take a pair of scissors or a blade or something and cut to the corner. I'll go there and cut to the corner. And what this will let me do is fold these ends in. See how that works? I'll be able to fold those sides over. And it means that when I go to fold this top down, it'll give me a much nicer 
a, a much nicer view. In fact, what I'll probably do is I'll just continue that straight down. I'll keep the fold going right there and right here. Now your results may vary, obviously, but when you pull this up, you'll fold it up, stretch it as far as you can. Now remember, because it's adhesive, it's gonna start sticking to everything. So it did, it adhered right in there. And now that's covered and the whole outside is covered. Now I'm not gonna do these ends yet because the sides yet, because I wanna put the other piece on. So let me get the other piece ready. And like I did before, I'm going to open up. So again, clip the corner here. All right. Go to the other side and clip the corner as well. There we go. So I can fold this over. I'll fold all the way to the end, like I did before. Fold this over, fold all the way to the end, like I did before. And now I can fold this one up and over. And it closes that all in. These other ones will be a little different though, remember, because I don't have quite as much to be able to go over here with. So I will fill, fold it over completely, recognizing that I'm gonna use some of the leftover material to cover the rest of it. And then it's important to notice something I want you to see here is that as I fold this over, I need to make sure that this end comes in a little bit more because on this one, you might notice on this corner, it's a little bit outside and I'm not a fan of it, but I can actually come back and just trim that to be angled in a little bit and that goes away. But this one, I flipped it over and here, same thing, just make sure it angles in a little bit so that when it flips over, it's out of the way. So now I'm gonna to need to take some pieces of this material and cut it exactly the right size to fit over. And the best way to do that is really to come in here and maybe measure how wide we need to be. This is a nice straight edge, so I'll come in here and go, okay, I need it to be, you know, I don't need it to be any more than this particular wide. So I can make like a cut Now this is where I would use a rotary cutter actually myself because I want this to be nice and even. So I'll measure how far that is. And that looks like it's about four and a quarter. So I'm gonna measure a four and a quarter strip. I'm lined up along the edge here. I'm gonna cut a four and a quarter strip like that. And now when I come over here, I can peel this material off. And going in here, I can lay that in to cover. Now I will have some other pieces here I need to cover. So I'm gonna cut a few more pieces to fit on that using the four and a quarter. You could also use some strips like this, you could cover over with a strip if you wanted to, if you were concerned about if you weren't concerned about it looking super perfect. I want to make sure it's gonna look a little nicer, so I might take a little bit more time to do it. But I will cut another four and a quarter piece. I think that's gonna help a lot. I have to get where this straight edge was, which was right here. Four and a quarter. Four and a quarter. That's right here. And cover. Now, of course, I'm also gonna cover this because we're gonna put pockets and stuff on here. And if you get it to fold up like that, do you see what happened here? I, because this is all vinyl sticking to itself, you can actually peel it back like that. See, it's peeled away without ripping any of the paper. And then you can come in and flatten it out better so it doesn't leave those marks. And now you'll see it looks a lot nicer there, it's flatter. I did get a little bit of that in here 
And if I wasn't gonna be covering that with a bunch of stuff, I'd be concerned. You'll see some other parts. You can put your fingers in here, but I know I'm gonna put pockets on all of this stuff, so I'm not as worried. And then I just wanna make sure that I continue to make sure it's easy to fold. On the outside, I have that one seam that's going down, but I'm gonna put some um, stickers on it. And I don't think it'll be noticeable at all. Okay, what I'm gonna do right now though is cover up these red marks that are here. And I can pretty much use this material to do it. And in fact, I'll cut this material in some very short strips using my rotary cutter, probably one inch strips. Um, and that will let me cover that over and still chop them. All right, that box is now covered, ready to go, all pretty. You could use different colored materials too if you had. That's that. And then the only other thing we'll have to do is cover the lid. The lid all right, now I know we're big enough. I'm gonna peel that entire amount widthwise off of there and lay it flat. And I do wanna put this right in the center if I can. There we go. And then I'm gonna come in and I'm going to just cut straight to the corner here on both sides. Now I didn't go all the way to the corner, but awfully close. And that lets me bring this one in and up and completely in. Same thing on the other side. And you may be thinking ahead already, you're thinking, oh, those edges are gonna fold around. And yes, they are actually, you'll see what I mean in a minute. So I brought that up and in. And then when I bring this side up, right, you're gonna see that I have all this extra material. I've gotta do something with it. So I'm going to cut it a little bit wider than that edge. Remember the other ones I cut it straight up, but these I'm cutting a little bit wider. So that when I bring it up and in, you'll notice here, it's gonna be able to fold over on the edges a little bit. See how it does that? So you can't see any of the material. So we get our corners. Now we do have to be careful the way this goes in so that it actually folds properly. So I'm gonna fold it in trying to keep this top up so I can push down in. I've got to get a little bit of relief here as we go. And what that means is I need to trim the rest of this back a little bit, just straight up. Here it's a lot. See how much that's going to be here? That one was over a little more than the other one. Okay, so now we can fold them in. And this material does stretch a little bit, so you can be careful. You need to be like a little careful that you don't overstretch it like I've just done here, but it's not hard. I can just come back in with the, and push it in. All right, I'm gonna do the same thing on this size, side, right? I'm gonna come in and I'll cut all of that off. You see how you can see down there. And the other thing I need to do then is cut off to here and then cut some more of that off. In fact, I'm gonna fold that over and then fold this edge a little bit too. Rather than cut it off, I'll show you another technique. <laughs> They're all sticking in my hand.
Okay, then we can fold that inside. And then the last thing you can do if you really want to is cover this last little bit with an extra piece that you might have. All right, it's gonna look a little bit like Frankenstein's monster right now because it's all pieced together. But once we put our, our stuff together, it's not gonna be so bad. So what we've done now is we've created a way for this box to close and this to go on top. And it's really cute when this goes together. So you see we have the, the box set up now. And now it's time to start decorating. So now that I've actually put that box together, you'll see here that opens up. Uh, there was a lot of work to put that, but you know, you can always do something a little different. Now I did buy some of that material in a gold. See this gold material? And in fact, if I bought a gold one or something that matched with it, I could easily just cut the edges like I've done here and use that material just to bind the edges, cut like a one inch uh, strip and just fold it over the cut edges. And that would have been a lot faster to put that together. And so I'll probably show you what that looks like at the very end. But now what I need to do is affix some pockets to here and we're gonna use that bag of papers they gave me to do it. So let's go back down to the table. So I have that packet of papers and to find what's gonna work best to create the pockets and I'm creating pockets so I can put some tea bags into them, right? So those would go like in the inside, you could put some tea bags and some other stuff. Well, to create those pockets, I'm gonna look at what I got in terms of these uh, cute stickers because I'm gonna use those on the outside. And so I want colors that go with that. So this definitely goes. I mean, obviously you can see how that goes with it. And I might find some other stuff. Do I like this brown that's sparkly? Um, there's also some papers in here that look like um, pretty, like they're, they have um, like seeds and plant leaves and that kind of stuff in it. There's some other colors. So I would just find things. I don't think this blue necessarily goes. So, but it does kind of match the blue that's in there. So that might work as well. Um, I don't know that these black pieces really work. Those are kind of interesting. This has gold in it. I might use that for the gold one. So I'm going to set that aside for the gold one that I have. Uh, maybe some of these other papers here. I don't think this blue necessarily works. And you could just go through and find colors that you think might go good. The pink might look good there. Maybe this green is really good. Um, again, this is just from the fabrics that I, or the, the paper packet that I got from the store uh, when I went to the Dollar Tree. And again, this is just a buck 25, so super cheap. So I'm just gonna set a couple of those aside and figure out which ones I really like. And, and then I'll start, I'll just start working on it. Now, what you want to look at is how do you want those things to go in? So I have these options here. Um, let's just use this little, this one for, for an idea. I know that my, that my, um, that here my T is about this wide. So I want to give myself some room. I'm going to glue it on the sides and at the top to tuck some T into and so for that, I'll just trim this off to where I think it needs to go size-wise. So I'll come in here and just eyeball where I want it to go. And this would be a good place to use double-sided tape if you wanted to. You could use that on the inside or I'm gonna use some glue. So like I said, I bought glue at the Dollar Tree. I bought this particular glue. Um, it's a liquid adhesive from, um, from Dollar Tree. Uh, it's from Crafter Square, the Dollar Tree. And it should already be open. I'll just test a little here and see how it goes. How do you have to break into it? It should tell me how to cut into it. Let me see the, 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 the back of it. Easy to apply. Well, it's not easy to apply yet. Oh, there. Took the whole lid off. Look at that. So I'm gonna see if that applicator lid, it's obviously got, you gotta poke the hole in this one. I'm gonna get a, a needle and do that um, 
for some reason it was not. Okay, well, they probably should have told me that. But I poked a hole in it with a needle at the top, and now I can come back and test it. Yeah, works great. Perfect. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put glue on three sides of this. So I've done that glue on three sides and I will make sure that I'm gonna line it up with the open side toward the top of the, so I'll do it this way, toward the top there. I'm gonna put it down here, toward that top and just let that glue itself on. I'll have to let it dry obviously for a little while. Now, if you get paper that's kind of thin, this paper is a little bit thin I could double fold it over if I wanted to, or I could glue several pieces together. I think what I'll probably more likely do is just check and see, here's a thicker piece. So I like the width of that, and look at how it's the same width of that already. So I'm gonna take this and just fold it in half to give a real strong, and in fact, watch, this is gonna be cool. I'm gonna fold it maybe not completely in half. See there, I felt folded it. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna glue that part closed here. So what I'm doing is creating a double pocket. So I'm gonna close those two, right? So I'm gonna create a pocket here and then a pocket on the inside. So I'll get two pockets set up. Let me turn this around. And so I'll take some glue here and do it along the bottom, the side edges. And again, double-sided tape would work really great for this too. I just don't happen to have any here. I didn't look at Dollar Tree to see if they had any, and I need some, some glue along the bottom, remember? So I'm gonna hold that in place a little bit just to make sure it really holds down. I'm gonna get some of this stuff out from underneath. My workspace is very, very, is a little too, uh, is a little too crowded right now. But see, this is gonna allow me to put a piece of uh, some tea there, see, like this, and some underneath. Now, if I were making this to be something that would be used over and over again, many, many times, I could make this out of fabric or even use like E6000 or some other kind of glue. And I'm just gonna keep going around. I like these other materials. Maybe I like this particular purple. Does this go well? I think it goes pretty well with some of these. Now this one will have to cut it to a certain size. There we go. And I'll glue that on as well. I'll flip that over. And I have this hard paper here, and I kind of like this one maybe in this particular area. I'm gonna shorten this though, because I think it's too long. So those four are in place. And of course, it may take you a little time for them to glue completely closed. This one's wanting to pop up here. So you might want to put some weight on it or something to really hold it down. It'll take a while to properly glue shut.
Now the other option is you can use some of the pieces of that. The other option is you could use pieces of the uh, material that you had uh, covered it with and just use strips to hold down the pieces. So that's an option. I'll show you what that would look like if you did it. I could come in here and hold down the edges of this blue one. Now, I don't think you really need to do this, but I can see that if you were worried about your, your glue or didn't have the right materials that you wanted, you could do it. I think it makes it look a little less finished, so or a little less clean, so I wouldn't do it very often, but you certainly could. So that could be an option, especially if you're trying to get this done ASAP. But look, now that I've done that, I can take my tea bag and just go right in there. Of course, the others. Now, you may want to use hot glue or something else. This is taking a while for this glue to hold on. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish it the same way I just did this one uh, and show you a finished product of what it would look like. All right, so I've for, sort of finished that look here, and I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do with that now. I'm gonna go ahead and um, put my cup in here, right? And I'm gonna just sort of put teas all around the outside of it. You'll see some different uh, choices I have here. Let's see if I can get that to open properly. There's a couple, I think I'll put these two that are kind of the same one there, and I have a little herbal tea here. Um, I've got some Tazo orange spicy ginger here that I'll put in over this one. And maybe a couple of different, uh, there was already a couple different twinings there. I'll throw another one in with that. So you can get several um, in each one. Maybe this one gets two different ones with it as well. And we'll throw another Egyptian back in there so that it gets two or three actually over there. Um, do I have any others? I think that's all I've got. And I can even write a little note and tuck it in here. So those T's are all ready to go that way. Um, the last thing we need to do is go ahead and we're going to put the lid on. So we pop it all up. But we're going to need to put some of the ribbon going around. So what I'm going to do before I do all this is I'm going to get my ribbon. I have those long, this ribbon I bought at the Dollar Tree. Because remember, all of this came from Dollar Tree. Um and they had quite a lot of options for different stuff. I'm gonna take this ribbon and I wanna make it long enough to go, let me zoom you out a little bit, long enough, and I need to clear some space here. I want it long enough to be able to tie some ribbons uh, around the top. So in fact, if I sort of put it underneath here, I can figure out, and I would wanna tie it across the top, right, very well. So for this box, I'm gonna go about twice the width of the box, I think. Maybe three times the size of the box that's open. So if I go to there, that'll give me a nice ribbon to tie. Maybe that's too much. I'm gonna go two and a half. So I'm gonna measure once and then across and then come back about halfway. So that's about two and a half times. And if I were to close it up, yeah, that would be good. I'm gonna cut these at an angle. Cut the other end at an angle. And then I'll just cut another one. So I'll measure out an entire extra piece. Again, do it the same way. Now this is the fun part because I'm gonna do it on the back side of this. I can spread them out, spread one across the middle, the other this way. Sort of make sure I have the centers there. And then I'm just gonna put another piece of that material across it to hold it in place. 
So I have a piece of that here, and I'll just cut this as a square. And I will make sure they're lined up and just go right over the top to hold them together. Now, if you wanted to, you could do it as well, maybe up at the top here, but not all the way to the top, because remember the lid's gotta go over top of it. I think this is gonna be good enough. So we flip it back over, maybe put our, put our um, T's back in where they need to go. Our cup goes in place, and then we'll flip the top op up. So we've done that, get that one in place, all of them. Oh, and then we can go ahead and tie our ribbons. Now, one secret I want to show you about tying ribbons is that if you tie the ribbon, if you do it just once, then you have to, remember, you have to sort of hold it and flip. But if you do a second turn, so now it's been once and then a second time, <laughs> once and then a second time, as you pull up, it literally ties itself back into, it pulls itself back up. So I'll do one there, and then I'll turn and do the same thing on the other side. So there's sort of two ribbons here. Can you see? One, two, pulls it down into place. And literally by pulling these together, they make the ribbon even tighter. So now I have a double ribbon, cute on there, holding it together. Get that cute box. And when you open it up, let me give you a different, little bit different angle on this. Now when someone gets it and opens it up, there's that cute box with all the stuff in it. Now I personally would put some biscotti or something in here, and I'm thinking about doing that but how cute of a lovely gift you can give to someone. So there's the box, and I just realized I didn't use any of the stickers to decorate this, so I'm gonna do that now and show you as an option, but I want you to see it now. It's just the plain box by itself, and then I'm gonna add some stickers and really show it off. Make sure that's tied up okay. And there we have it, we're done with the cute, putting all that stuff on it. I think that's cute. I don't think it's necessary. In fact, I think it probably looked better without it, but you'll see when we open it that it made the box nice and cute. So let me take the lid off. There is our design. Well, that was so much fun doing. In fact, um, it took longer than I thought it would, but this is the first one I've done like this. So just understand that it might take you a little long for your first one as well. In fact, I think it would be a lot easier to do it with this type of box where you just you don't have to cover the whole thing. It's already covered. If you cut the edges, you can then just uh, finish them off with a little bit of um, cute fabric or the that vinyl material. Or you can even just, you could glue ribbon on it, whatever you wanted to do. Um, I think it made a super cute box and I hope you try this. So I hope you'll try making this cute little um, sort of tea cozy caddy gift for a friend of yours. And uh, until next time, stay crafty. All right, you know, what else could I put in this? I gotta think of some things.